We chose to spend our Labor Day weekend exploring the incredibly strange and beautiful landscapes of Arches National Park. The park is secluded in eastern Utah and gets its name from its over 2,000 natural occurring sandstone arches. To get there, we flew into Denver and rented a car. I wouldn't be discouraged about the five-hour commute from Denver to Arches. The Rocky Mountain Drive along the Colorado River is a breathtaking adventure all in its own. And what a better way to see the Wild West than in a convertible Mustang. Entering Arches is like landing on another planet. With strange geologic formations, straight out of Looney Tunes or the Flintstones. Many of the formations got their names by resembling something. Here's one that kind of looks like Queen Nefertiti. Here's one that looks like three dudes hanging out. And here's one that looks like a... Uh, a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. What's wrong, baby? What's it's wrong? It's too much. Uh. <laughs> Moving on. So we've been here all day and we've only knocked out two arches. Every 10 steps, there's a new encyclopedia of photograph opportunities just open up for you. We've been walking around this rock, on top of this rock, through it, underneath it, and same with the other one right over here. But we're gonna have to start moving a little quicker and do a crash course in Arches National Park if we wanna see this thing. For whatever reasons, most people start leaving around sunset. But we recommend selecting a favorite location to not only watch the magic hour colors change, but to also kick back and stare at the multitude of stars. After dark, we had double arch all to ourselves. Cheap hotels in Moab are not cheap. You can spend $200 a night for a Motel 6 if you made a reservation. Or you could do like we did and drive 1.5 hours back to Grand Junction. We got a Motel 6 there for 60 bucks a night. Wow. The next morning on the way back to Arches, we took a couple extra hours to explore the spectacular scenery along Highway 128. We highly recommend you do this too, if you have the time. Hard to believe you can still experience a scenic beauty like this with no one else around. Inside Arches, parking is provided close to many of the sites. And surprisingly, we didn't have to hike far before we were all alone. Then again, it was 100 degrees. Here we're pretending like we're not wandering off and leaving our camera and tripod behind. To lighten the hiking load on this trip, we bought a cheap travel tripod for only 20 bucks. Here I'm trying to do a slow, smooth pan with a cheap $20 tripod. While out exploring, we got an email from Spirit Airlines that our flight home was canceled due to weather. That was non-existent. But rather than argue with them, we embraced having an extra day off work and decided to give Canyonlands National Park a whirl. We called Budget Rental Car and let them know we were keeping the Mustang an extra day. They said no problem and then charged us $260 for that extra day. Canyonlands is located right across from Arches. To see as much as possible with the little time we had, we drove the Grand View Point Road, stopping at several jaw-dropping overlooks only a skip, hop, and jump from the pavement. One of the main attractions is Meza Arch. Here we got to hang out with some Indians. The rest of the overlooks we stopped at had few people, if any. Then again, it was 100 degrees. It's hot, it's perspirating. Here I'm trying to do a slow, smooth pan with a $20 tripod. The 
highlight for us at Canyonlands was the one mile hike to Grand View Point Overlook where we took in the panoramic evening scenery. Though you can see for miles and miles in all directions, there wasn't another soul in sight. What are you doing right now? I'm being um, Simba in Lion King. <laughs> are you afraid of heights? I'm still checking. <laughs> what are you doing up here? Because you asked me to do and I wanted to challenge myself. All right. Is it steep down there? Yeah. How, <laughs> how steep? How steep is you wanna it? You want to take a peek? Let's take a peek. It's pretty much straight down forever. Three days is hardly enough time to explore these extraordinary landscapes, but it is enough time to have an unforgettable long weekend vacation. If you have never been to Arches and Canyonlands National Parks, we strongly suggest you put them at the top of your list of places to visit. Till next time, friends. Happy trails.